Kendrick Lamar's Black Panther soundtrack is getting almost as much press as the movie itself, but he's not the only rapper and producer to make serious headway in Hollywood. In fact, he's only the latest in a long line of rap stars who have successfully crossed over into TV and film. Here's a quick dive into the careers of notable rappers who have become multi-hyphenate Hollywood juggernauts. Southside Chicago native Common is one of the best examples of a multi-talented musician who's taken over Hollywood. Getting his start in the early 90s as a rapper, Common quickly grew into acting, producing, and writing. You can find him in everything from Selma to The Simpsons, and as an activist, he's worked closely with Barack Obama and even started his own foundation to empower underprivileged youth. So, you know, he's not busy at all. A self-described music nerd from a very young age, Pharrell started the Neptunes with his longtime friend and collaborator Chad Hugo back in the early 90s. The duo made a name for themselves as producers working on tracks like Black Street's Tonight's the Night, before going on to produce music for everyone from Jay-Z to Britney Spears to Daft Punk. In 2010, Pharrell composed the soundtrack for the animated hit Despicable Me, cementing him as a multi-talented musical force and world-famous personality. Since 2014, he's been a host on NBC's The Voice and executive produced the 2015 indie hit Dope. Arguably the godfather of rap star crossovers, not to mention gangster rap itself, Ice Cube has long been known as a dynamic talent who can easily jump from music to movies and everything in between. The rapper was one of the first to recognize that he didn't need to fit into only one box to make it in the entertainment biz, and in 1991 starred in the iconic film Boys in the Hood, which legitimized him as an actor. His turn as Doughboy impressed critics and showed the world that his acting chops were right up there with his skills on the mic. After getting some encouragement from John Singleton, Cube wrote the screenplay for the 1995 comedy classic Friday, which earned nearly 30 million dollars at the box office, cementing him as a bona fide moneymaker across multiple platforms. With 40 film credits, appearances in TV shows, and video games, not to mention nine solo albums and multiple collabs, Ice Cube is showing no signs of slowing down in his multi-decade career. Robert Fitzgerald Diggs also known as RZA, is not only the de facto leader of the Wu-Tang Clan, but can also boast a multitude of titles beyond musicians, such as producer, actor, filmmaker, and author. In 1999, after establishing himself as a rap visionary with his work in Wu-Tang and Gravedig, as RZA got his start composing for film with Jim Jarmusch's ghost dog, Way of the Samurai. He had such a great experience on it that it started an impressive body of work as a composer. And get this, he also has a brief cameo in the film. He went on to do the Kill Bill Volume 1 soundtrack with many others. In 2011, he directed his feature debut, The Man with the Iron Fist, and has appeared in a number of films as an actor. He's also an activist who promotes a vegan lifestyle for PETA. All hail Queen Latifah. No, really, her first album titled All Hail the Queen came out nearly 30 years ago, and since then she's proven to be a mega talent across multiple platforms, including acting, singing, and hosting. Queen Latifah started out as a beatboxer for Ladies Fresh, and when her first album dropped in 89, she was only 19 years old. Latifah went on to star in the 1990s sitcom Living Single, and she wrote and performed its theme song. She also helmed her own talk show starting in the late 1990s. Latifah has sold well over 2 million records worldwide, and is credited as being the first female hip-hop artist to be nominated for an Oscar for her role in the 2002 film Chicago. Oh, and she's also won a Golden Globe, two SAG Awards, and a Grammy not to mention multiple nominations. Many notable women in the biz have named her one of their key influences, including Lauryn Hill, Missy Elliott, Eve, and Jill Scott. Speaking of rappers with their own shows, you can't talk about musicians who cross over without mentioning Will Smith. In fact, Queen Latifah actually had a recurring role in his show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in the 90s. Without a doubt, Will Smith remains one of the most successful crossover stories in history with no signs of slowing down. Will Smith first came on the scene in the late 1980s as the Fresh Prince, a lighthearted rapper with a penchant for rhyming without swearing and dropping dancey, crowd-pleasing tracks with his cohort DJ Jazzy Jeff. Will Smith became the ultimate action hero in the 90s with films like Independence Day and the Men in Black franchise, and maintained his clout as an actor with his star turn in Michael Mann's famed biopic, Ali. Last but not least, you can't talk about successful rap crossovers and not mention Tupac. Selling over 75 million records worldwide, Tupac remains one of the best-selling musical artists of all time. He debuted as an actor in the 1991 film Nothing But Trouble, going on to star in Juice to critical acclaim. He went on to star in Poetic Justice and Above the Rim, and after his death, three more movies starring Tupac were released, Bullet, Gridlocked, and Gang Related. Sadly, we will never know what he would have achieved had he not been shot and killed in a Las Vegas drive-by in 1996. So who's your favorite rapper turned mogul and why? For HitFix on Uproxx, I'm Steve Vasquez.